The reason why I think this research is kind of unique is because to address or even to manage the permafrost thawing related problem, the first step is always to understand like a, the material we're dealing with. So for example, in here, without knowing the ice content or the stiffness of the permafrost, uh, uh, permafrost foundation, it's just impossible to come up with a strategy to deal with that. This is the ultrasonic setup we uh, developed uh, here at the University of Manitoba for testing of permafrost soils. In this research, we actually developed a seismic-based and also ultrasonic wave-based approach to quantitatively estimate uh, permafrost properties, such as ice content and also stiffness related the parameters. So with that, um, scientists and of course and engineers can make a better judgment, right? Whether should we just keep the permafrost frozen, right? Or you know, in the short future, or we better do something else uh, to maybe live with the settlement. One of the motivation for this research is how do we really do an in situ investigation, right, in remote area? So traditionally, we have a really heavy, large drilling rig that they have to be transported all the way to those areas, which is sometimes doesn't have really good access. And also um, the cost and the transportation and everything is just not feasible. So everything here can be actually put into a small box like this size. And then it's going to be an integrated size and this device is definitely portable. Another reason that I think this uh, research is kind of unique is it actually gave uh, a very important tool to our climate scientist. So to better uh, do a projection of carbon emission for the future, we have to account for the sudden carbon emission due to the permafrost thawing. And this cannot be done without understanding the pro property of the permafrost. 